as we look ahead to race weekend, mm -hmm. it will be a good day. The problem for some of the runners, it will warm up rather quickly. It's going to be hot as we will have morning temperatures starting out in the 60s and mm -hmm. afternoons in the 80s, which isn't necessarily the ideal temperature for runners. Yes, but for some of you that are gardening or maybe you're going to be heading out to family activities, it is beneficial. You'll love this weekend for the zoo and for some of the other things that it are is. going on right now, though, some showers and a couple of thunderstorms across the region. Nothing is currently severe. We did have one cell earlier that did make its way closer into Murray, did turn severe for just a handful of minutes and then expired. But we are seeing some thunderstorms with us. And here's a live look downtown and you can tell it's wet. Y'all nothing that we hadn't seen before. It's not a big to do, but for some reason we forget how to drive when the windshield wipers are on. So you may be the best driver ever. Just be mindful of those around you. Current temperature 60 degrees. We had over into Dixon since midnight. Y'all have received almost a quarter of an inch, and that's what we're dealing with. Some of you have not had a drop. Others of you, it is just totally saturated when it comes to the surface. The power of five radars very scattered as anticipated. This is not a washout event, and thankfully it is that overnight early morning type situation. So a quick view Hopkinsville seeing some of the shower activity as well as going into Dixon. You head closer to Little Lot. You're about to hear some thunder in a few minutes because you do have some thunderstorms for you. That's going to continue to move its way off to the east. Columbia seeing some light rain up and along I-65 moving closer into Smyrna. You're in that lull. What's in Franklin will eventually move into your area and then we make our way into Lafayette, Tennessee and Topkinsville, Kentucky, where we do have some rain showers out there. The system is not going to last for long, but this warmth will current temperatures 50s and 60s. Leland, it's been gusty overnight, but the winds are starting to tone down just a bit. Yeah, so that will be good for us as well as we go through the day here at the station. Since the midnight hour, we have picked up uh, under a tenth of an inch of rainfall, but some amounts have been a lot higher. Uh, than that, but right now 62 here at the station in downtown. Uh, we've got yellow and red paw for the early morning walk just because of some of the showers that are out there. Uh, but this is Lucy courtesy of Amy Eller and then notice how the clouds are going to hang around a bit, although we've got morning showers by midday. The showers are out of here now There may be a leftover shower toward the plateau Cookville, Crossville, Jamestown, but that is going to uh, continue to pull away 76 Six in Nashville today, 74 Dixon, 77 Columbia. So these temperatures closer to where we ought to be for highs for this time of the year. So doing yard work maybe for the first half of the day. It really goes green into the afternoon and for Friday, Saturday and for Sunday. Speaking of Sunday and the weekend, here we go. 84 Saturday, 83 on Sunday, but exact track before we get to the weekend showing the showers out there and a couple couple of thunderstorms and then as we make our way into the afternoon, uh, clouds start to decrease late today and overnight and that's going to set up great weather as we head toward tomorrow. So for today, we'll look for a high this afternoon right around the 76 degree mark looking good across the area. There's a look at the temperature notice that rain chances they're up through this morning and then dying down as we make our way into the afternoon and then for tonight we're 56 tomorrow 83 and Nikki D the 80s continuing through the weekend. I mean, we're just rolling with it. We're waking up Sunday, upper 50s, low 60s, 83 for the high. When Sunday evening are going to kick up some speed. That's going to bring a gusty Monday that's going to be associated with a cold front that will move into our area, bring showers, thunderstorms, and obviously some cooler air on the flip side with highs Wednesday, 70 degrees.